I'm looking into the sun, so it's a bit uh, awkward. What I had is a sunshade for the front window, and the front window of the uh, Ford Transit is uh, certainly not small, but this is a fairly small, tiny thing that should be useful to cover it up both in summer to keep the sun out but certainly for privacy at night it's very easily folded up but i'll probably have to do two or three takes <laughs> to make it seem as if i do it uh, the first time right uh, but you can see that it folds out and so you've got one big circle and then it folds out to second one so I'll show you how easy it is to uh, at least open it up and then put it under the window. Okay, to do it, uh, to keep the sun out, you take the silver side <laughs> There we go Is the sun visors. First get it. And it, it's really virtually completely covered. And certainly sun, but at night as well, if you turn it around, use the black side for it at night what is a big issue is turning it back into a small package <laughs> so after folding it up in two this is where things get difficult i think what i found out is that so you do it like this you turn it around and then you get these two instead of turning it further you turn it together, you see? It this is now the third or fourth time that I did it. Once you get a little bit feel for it, it's, uh, it's simple. But the first uh, few times are a disaster. Then you can slip it in here. Into a real small package. And then I put it here, in front. Let's start with the biggest panel. This one. Let's see what I can do. Let's see. Let me see what I can do. Okay. Okay, next step is um, I have to cut off the excess uh, formica from the edges. So I have to go with all the pieces that I did uh, through the router. That is a lot of sawdust. Oh, 
now I've got these sheets that I covered on one side. That's the inside. This is a door. All sides will get the glossy white as well as the front. And the next step will be to drill some holes in there for the door hinges. So I finished, it was quite a bit of work and I want to say I finished these uh, doors and drawers. It's all these different pieces and uh, gluing, everything separate so it's, it's uh, uh, but okay, we're there. Uh, although it's not everything, I still have about uh, probably the same amount to do. So what I'll do now is uh, try to start installing the storage door. What I have to do, I got these holes drilled in here and put a, sorry, a hinge in there. Quite simple, two screws. Uh, already indicated where the screws are. What I usually do is put it in here, use a square towards the side and then square it off. So that's all, that's the way it should fit. That looks fairly good. Now I indicated where the holes have to come for the screws. Now I'm gonna screw these in. And hopefully I've measured it correctly. Now it should be just a matter of installing it. It doesn't always seem to be that easy. Oh. It is easier than I thought. First thing I'm going to do is uh, drill some holes in the front of the drawer. Already indicated where they have to come. Then I'm gonna figure out where to put the drawer front. I use a couple of pieces of tape which I transform in double sided tape just to keep the uh, drawer front a little bit better in place. Two separators, so I got an equal distance every time. And that's number three. I have no handles yet, so this is then my temporary handle. Yeah, that's fine, I think. Oh, before I go, please pay attention to these uh, missing children. If you have any information, please call the appropriate number. Hi guys, this is Joey and we're building a one-of-a-kind RV. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like and subscribe. Or better yet, uh, leave a comment. Thanks guys. You've done a good job.